Honorable Chairman, Honorable Speaker, Honorable Members of the State Legislature, it's a great honor and privilege to address this joint session of both the houses of Andhra Pradesh State Legislature on the occasion of the budget session 2023-24. It is almost four years since the journey to fulfill the hopes of more than five crore people of this state had begun under the dynamic leadership of our Honorable Chief Minister Sri Y.S. Jagan Mohan Reddy. Relentless efforts have been made during all these years in ensuring that governance is more inclusive and transparent. It is indeed heartening to share the way aspirations of the underprivileged, marginalized, and vulnerable groups have been fulfilled through the implementation of several pro-poor initiatives. Ever since my government was formed in 2019, we have embarked, embarked on an inclusive governance model under the broad welfare umbrella of Navaratnalu, moving in, in sync with the global development agenda of sustainable development goals, the government has carved a well-knit development and welfare framework of Navaratnalu implicitly adopting the concept of leave no one behind. Implementation of this integrated welfare program where all schemes of the government have been mapped with SDGs has facilitated direct benefit transfer by the click of a button into the bank accounts of the beneficiaries without any leakages or discrimination on any ground whatsoever and with transparency under various schemes. New Age Institutions for Effective Service Delivery. My government has recognized the importance of ensuring timely and transparent public service delivery to various sections of the population, which include the hitherto neglected classes of SCs, STs, BCs, minorities, farmers, and women. 15,004 village ward sachivalayas across the state are instrumental in ensuring effective and transparent service delivery. During these 45 months, my government has extended financial assistance of about 97 lakh crores under various programs with an aim of improving living standards of the people regardless of caste, creed, religion, gender, and political affiliation under the ambit of Navaratnalu. Further, for more effective identification of beneficiaries, my government is conducting mandatory social audit before the launch of any scheme. The village ward volunteers deployed in rural urban areas for delivering government services and welfare schemes at the doorsteps of all eligible households have proved extremely effective. Now economic growth. The economy of the state continues its encouraging trend. The ad advanced estimates for 2022-23 indicate an overall growth of 16.22% at current prices. All the three sectors of the economy, namely agriculture and allied industries and services are projected to show significant growth performance. The industry and service sector, services sectors have helped the economy to register higher overall growth. The per capita income of Andhra Pradesh at current prices have moved up from Rs. 1,92,517 in 2021 to Rs. 2,19,518 with an impressive growth of 1402 percent the effective policy the effective policy formation and implementation by my government has ensured a year on year gsdp growth growth rate at 11.43% in 2021 
which is the highest amongst all the states. Now, quality education, nurturing future generations. Dr. Yes Radha Krishnan has said, and I quote, the end product of education should be a free, creative man who can battle against historical circumstances and adversities of nature, unquote. Education is most effective resource to transform the younger generations. My government is utilizing every possible opportunity to develop the future generation to be globally competitive in all aspects. Towards this endeavor, utmost importance is being given to education through several path-breaking interventions. These include strengthening of the existing infrastructure in all government schools, streamlining and upgrading the midday meal program, implementing curricular reforms in consonance with the National Education Policy 2020 and setting up of an effective regulatory and monitoring mechanism. I would like to briefly highlight some of the interventions of my government that are contributing to quality learning outcomes. With an objective of modernizing and strengthening infrastructure in schools and thereby making environment more conducive for learning, my government is implementing Manabadi Nadu Nedu Nadu Nedu initiative since 2021. 15,717 schools have been taken up for revamp under the phase one with a financial outlay of rupees. 3,669 crores. Under this initiative, amenities under 12 categories such as toilets with running water, electrification with fans and tube lights, drinking water supply, furniture for students and staff, etc. are made available in schools. Under the second phase, 